So let's talk about frame buffer objects. They are useful for all sorts of post-processing effects like image blurring, uh, anti-aliasing and so on. And as you saw in my previous uh, video in color picking, they are useful in that case too. So my idea is in this video is create uh, not a triangle but uh, uh, three cubes and and a plane. So do the on-screen rendering and the off-screen rendering using the uh, custom frame buffer object and use this frame buffer object as a texture to this plane on the screen. So let's create it. So I've already prepared the scene. Three cubes, one of them is rotating and here is a plane which is now just a black empty texture. So okay. <clears throat> and I'm creating a cube VAU, a plane, a vertex array, array object. Here I'm creating a texture for the plane, which is just empty. So here the GL texture image 2D, the last parameter is just none. So here I'm gonna create that custom frame buffer object. So let's name it FBO and GL gen frame buffers. Okay. Uh, bind the frame buffer. Bind frame buffer. Yes. GL frame buffer. Yes. And the FBO. Now set the texture for that custom frame buffer. So GL frame buffer, frame buffer texture, yes, to the, where it is, frame buffer texture to the, okay. So the GL frame buffer, okay. The GL color, color attachment zero. GL color attachment zero, yes. GL texture to the GL texture underscore to D. Um, use this plain texture and the last parameter is just zero. Okay, so okay now we we are going to just unbind this so to set it to zero. So this GL frame buffer texture 2D sets this plane texture as a texture for this custom frame buffer. Okay. So now in the render we need here I'm drawing to the default frame buffer the cubes. After this, I'm just gonna copy all this for loop, copy, and before I unbinding the vertex array to zero, I'm gonna 
gonna copy this for loop, uh, paste this for loop, and uh, yes, bind here the FBO. So, do you bind frame buffer FBO? Here before the second for loop start and buffer FBO let let me copy first of all I'm gonna clear its color so just control X this so cut this out and set the clear color in the render loop for the default frame buffer then I'm going to copy these two lines and clear the color color buffer bit and the depth buffer bit for the custom frame buffer too and let's clear it to um, black bind frame buffer so after we draw to that frame, frame buffer, I'm going to unbind it to zero and let me double check so let me try this out okay so now this plane is textured from that custom frame buffer. You can use this for, let's say, for a for, for a minimap in a game, or I don't for a HUD heads-up display. But as you see. Uh, the depth, the depth test is not working in this texture, so I'm going to work on it a little bit more. So let's continue to solve our problem with this depth buffering in that uh, custom frame buffer object or depth testing so first of all I'm going to copy this comment and here when I draw into that custom frame buffer I'm just going to add this comment custom, so draw to the custom frame buffer okay so Let's go up and here before we generate that uh, custom frame buffer. I'm going to create a depth uh, buffer and set it equal to GL gen uh, render buffers. Okay, GL gen render buffers then bind the render buffer so gl bind mm, render buffer okay render buffer gl render buffer gl render uh, gl render buffer uh, and the depth buff depth underscore buff The next set the render buffer storage. So render buffer uh, storage. Render buffer storage. G uh, render buffer. Yes. First argument. The next is the depth component so gl depth depth underscore component yeah 
And the last two arguments is the windows width and the windows height. So 1280 by 720. I'm just going to copy the windows width and the windows height. Okay. And the last line will be after after the GL frame buffer texture 2D. We are going to set the frame buffer render buffer. Render buffer, yes. So GL frame buffer. GL frame buffer, the GL depth attachment, GL um, depth attachment, yeah. GL render buffer, GL render buffer, uh -huh, GL render buffer. Error. I need to double check it in my tester file. Oh, without without the underscore so GL render buffer, okay. And give it the depth buff we just created here. So now it should work. So now it uh, it stores the uh, depth buffer to in this custom frame buffer. Yes, now the cube. The cubes in this custom frame buffer looks okay. Probably I'm going to do one more video on frame buffer objects. So until then, have a nice day and thanks for watching.